Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Langell and I'm here to talk to you guys about how to go through the pre-safety checklist for the Inspire 1. This is also suitable for a Phantom 3 and just generally for all UAV aircrafts. It is really important to follow these steps every time you go out and fly. 95% of the accidents are from pilot error. A call pilot error not following the pre-safety checklist because if you miss one step you can get some unexpected behavior and you are not quick enough to realize what is wrong and what happened especially in close quarters. And guess what? You may crash your toy. My number one step is always be sure to check all of your propellers before you even start your drone. I usually triple check because many people have had issues with all different type of propellers. I'm using the latest quick release propellers and never had any problems with it. So don't be lazy, always check it or double check it. My second step is, when you arrive to your fly zone, be sure you look around the place you're gonna fly, otherwise you could hit a cable. Also be sure you are not near any towers, because they can interfere with your GPS. Try to avoid every high electric power cables as well. Third and most important step is, compass calibration. Well, let's stop here for a second. I have read many comments on forums and sites that people were complaining and blaming DJI for crashing their drone, because it was uncontrollable. Well, the story ended up with the following, they never did any compass calibration. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Many people say you have to do the compass calibration once in a while or if you go to a new place to fly. It is actually really confusing because if you fly at home, then you go out to a near park, that's a new place, right? So, do your comp so you do your compass, but then you go home and fly without recalibrating your compass, right? No. That's a new place again for your drone, so don't be lazy, it takes about 10 seconds. I don't know you, but I don't want to waste 3000 euro for a matter of 10 seconds. So if you go out, just be sure you do your compass calibration every single time. Note, if you change your battery after your first successful flight at the same spot, you do not have to calibrate again. Once you are done, check your iPad or any device which is used as a monitor if everything is normal and you don't get any red dots or warnings. I personally use the newest iPad Air 2 because it is the fastest, so I do not have any leg issues during flight. After everything is checked, arm the motors and take off manually. It is really important to not use auto takeoff all the time, especially in close quarters. Imagine if you have any calibration issues and it would just drift to a wall. Once you are in the air, do some basic flight tests for about 15 seconds to be sure everything is normal. For example, some quick left and right movement or forward, backward. But be sure you are in a low altitude just in case if something would happen, it would not fall from the sky. And the last step is, go ahead, have fun and be safe. If you found this tutorial good and helpful, please give me a like and feel free to comment if you have any questions.